It says it's about to broadcast it. Now streaming live. I'm going to have to mute it over there, otherwise I get... Feedback? Yes. So let me just check that first and make sure I don't end up with... There's my notification. You are live on Facebook. Yay. Do you want to share it so we can, on your page live? I don't have a link or anything in there. Can I share? Can we both share it? I thought only the Zoom account owner could share. You could go to my page and share it to your page. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's learn something new today. Let me try to make this bigger so I can and see everyone's do you want comments. To share it? Oh, oh, oh. Turn it down. There we go. <laughs> That's weird because they're set to delay. Hi, Carol. We got four viewers already. How exciting. Um, so Carol said hello already. The rest of you that are watching, um, make sure to pop on and say hi, because remember, we like to give away prizes. And one of the ways you can win prizes is by interacting with us. So by commenting, sharing our video, we are so, so passionate about oils and teaching um, everyone about this holistic health um, journey. <clears throat> so um, if you are so inclined, share with your friends and then you are um, helping us to spread the word about what we're passionate about. For those of us that are joining us on Zoom, um, I'm going to keep your cameras off um, because we will be posting the replay um, for this live, well, I guess not live, recorded on YouTube, but it will be public and we just don't want anybody to feel awkward about being on video or anything like that. So we're just going to avoid all of that. Um, by keeping the videos off for those that are attending with us on Zoom. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Let me look at my notes. Tonight, we're continuing our immunity support series. I don't know how many more weeks we think we're going to have of this. We're kind of wrapping it up, would you say? I think so. I mean, we did supplements and we did kind of like our kind of our personal protocol. We talked about digestive system, which was good. And then we've had two weeks of oils. Yeah. So we will put our heads together and probably come up with a new series for next week, I'm thinking. Um, Share topic ideas. What are you guys interested in? Put those in the comments under these videos. Yes. So we want to know so that we can t uh, formulate these classes for you. That's a great idea, Tessa. Let us know what you want to learn about and we'll teach about it. We love to research and chances are we've probably between the four of us, Janelle and Ann can't make it tonight, but between the four of us, um, we've probably used something for the various regimens. So probably. Hi, Sherry. Glad you could make it. I know you've been so busy wedding planning, so glad you found a minute to talk oils with us. Um, yeah, so great idea, Tessa. You should share what you'd like us to teach about. Then we have lots and lots of class ideas. Um, tonight is just me and Tessa holding down the fort, and Luke will probably share a little bit of something if he can uh, get free to chat with us. And put the babies to bed. Aw, that's nice. Um, John's hanging out with our fur babies too. So, <laughs> um, so immunity support, like Tessa mentioned, we've talked about gut health. We've talked about supplements. We've talked one night about oils and tonight we're both going to talk about a couple more oils. There were just too many for us to cram into one night. Mm -hmm. Um, should we do our prize drawing first from last week? I think we should get that out of the way. Go for it. Um, I have prizes. We'll have two prizes tonight. One for the shares and likes and comments from last week. 
So thank you everyone for that. We have quite a few people on the wheel. And then at the end of class tonight, we wanna make sure everyone gets a chance to pop on live. At the end of class tonight, we'll do a drawing for one lucky live attendee for our oil fireside chat. I am providing the prizes, but there has been a little bit of a mail delay in something I'm waiting for from Amazon to do it. So um, your prize that you're spinning for, I'm tonight gonna be talking about clove oil and clove is so wonderfully warm and aromatic and it makes every house smell like a home. So I'm making air fresheners and I'm waiting for something in the mail from Amazon for you guys. And they are going to be clove air fresheners um, just in time for fall to be starting in a couple months. So let me see if I can figure out how to share my screen. Hey, oh, I think I got it. Can you see it, Tessa? Yes, I can see it. All right, so I've got everyone on here who shared and commented um, and liked our video last time. So let's give the wheel a spin. Carol, congratulations, Yay. Carol. Awesome. All right. I actually just realized I didn't start recording this, so I'm going to start it right now. All right. So congrats, Carol. Uh, you'll win a clove scented air freshener. Um, <clears throat> okay. I feel like I've done all the talking. So Tessa, do you want to kick it off with your oil of the night? Uh, sure. Um, so Okay, for immune support, I personally with my, um, so tonight we were kind of trying to go with aggressive support. So when you've been exposed to some yuck, what do you do as opposed to like just your normal everyday immune support, which was kind of more last week. So I was like, oh my word, what do I do for aggressive support when I've been to expo when I've been exposed to something, what do I like really reach for? And the obvious one would be thieves. Um, but a lot of people have done their own research on thieves. And if you've watched the previous videos, you kind of know I'm the lemon lady. Like I use lemon for everything. So I decided to try to research a little bit more on lemon because instead of just using it for getting rid of gum and tape and sticker residue, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I also reach for it um, when I'm a little bit under the weather. The problem I was running into with all my research is FDA compliance. So tonight, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. I want to be clear that no one blows a whistle on me. I'm talking about a fruit. Do your research on this one. I highly encourage research, but I'm talking about this. All right, so I don't wanna get in trouble. I'm talking about the lemon fruit. So um, as I was reading about health benefits of lemon and ingesting lemon, um, so I looked a lot for immune support and that will be my ending thing. I was absolutely astounded and floored by the number of other things that lemon supports and how they all then tie into your immune system, right? Okay, so like your heart is the pump. That's like all of your blood that gets carried through the rest of your body goes to your heart, right? So when you're feeling under the weather, you wanna make sure that you've got a good pump to carry the white blood cells to whatever needs it, right? Okay, so lemon supports heart health. Research shows that ingesting fruits and vitamin, fruits and vegetables high in vitamin C will reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke. The plant compounds specifically in lemons could also significantly lower some risk factors for your heart disease. Plant compounds found in lemons, namely hesperidin and disomin, have been found to lower uh, bad cholesterol levels. In 2014, one study found that women in Japan who walked regularly and consumed lemon every day had lower blood pressure than those who do not. 
So um, from ambulance days, um, those with high blood pressure or heart disease typically have a, um, a, a compromised immune system. So like with all the junk going on in the news right now, um, those are the people who are really masking up. So I found that interesting about lemons. Um, a lot of, we've talked in previous videos about weight control. And when we talked about the digestive health, um, what you put in your body is how your body responds and how it reacts to things. So definitely eat healthy and with that help control your weight because your weight has a lot to do with your immune system. So um, lemons can help with your weight. Uh, research shows that plant compounds in lemon extracts may help prevent or reduce weight gain in a number of ways. In one study, mice on a fattening diet were given lemon polyphenols extracted from the peel, which is where the oil comes from. Um, they gained less weight and body fat than the other mice. And this is on a fattening diet. Um, in 2006, 84 premenopausal Korean women with a high body mass index followed a lemon detox or another diet for seven days. Those who followed the lemon detox diet experienced greater improvement in insulin resistance, body fat, BMI, body weight, and waist to hip ratio than those who did the other mainstream fad diets. That's fascinating. Okay, so this next one I could like really get into. Um, but that's a talk for another time. Anemia is specifically connected to your immune system that has to do with iron levels in your blood. Um, I, when I'm pregnant, I'm severely anemic. Um, and so my doctor has me on supplements for that because it affects my immune system. And when you're pregnant, you don't want a compromised immune system. So if you want more info on that, we can chat about that. But Iron deficiency anemia, which is what I struggle with, is quite common. It occurs when you don't get enough iron in the foods you ate. Lemons do contain some iron, but they primarily prevent anemia by improving your absorption of iron from plant foods. So that's interesting. Like the chemical, the, the good chemicals in the lemon extracts and peels and oils and fibers help you absorb the iron from the foods you already eat, like chicken and beef and liver and things like that. So I found that fascinating that lemon helps with anemia. Oops, I clicked a button. Hang on, we're coming back. Okay, um, this was fascinating. There were pages upon pages of um, lemons and cancer, which those are another group of people who are considered high risk with their immune systems right now. Those ones are all masking up severely. They're really social distancing, they're staying home. So I found the connection with lemons and that part of your immune system interesting. So for reducing cancer risk, lemons, and again, for FDA compliance, I'm talking about the fruit. I am not making any claims anywhere else. Please do your research. So for the fruit, reducing cancer risk, some observational studies have found that people who eat the most citrus fruit have a lower risk of cancer, while other studies have found no effects. So it, it's kind of either or for some studies. In test tube studies, Many compounds from lemons have completely killed cancer cells. So that was interesting. Some research think some researchers think that plant compounds found in lemons, such as limonene, which is in Ningxia red, which I talked about a few weeks ago, and narigenian could have anti-cancer effects. So there's another way that it helps with your immune system, both lemon and Ningxia. Animal studies indicate that D-limonene, the one in Ningxia, a compound found in lemon oil does have anti-cancer properties. So that was interesting. A study discovered that these compounds prevented malignant tumors from developing in the tongues, lungs, and colons of rodents. Fascinating. Um, lung cancer runs in my family, so I thought that was very good for me to know. A 2019 population study showed that long-term regular consumption of foods that contain flavonoids, lemons, and wolfberries um, may help protect against cancer and cardiovascular disease. Um, however, the study did indicate that people who smoked or consumed a lot of alcohol were less likely to benefit. So we're talking about overall health changes here. So get rid of the bad, put in more good. 
And then specifically to the immune system, there was a ton to highlight, but I just wanted to share the things that were like most relevant and the reasons I personally reach for lemon when I'm feeling a little under the weather or I've been exposed to things. Lemons are high in natural antioxidants, which enhance the immune system and have antiviral and antibacterial properties. Again, for FDA compliance, I'm talking about this. Have antiviral and antibacterial properties. <laughs> For supporting the immune system, lemons have many benefits and uses, including preventing bacterial growth and infections, relieving nausea, healing throat infections from the common cold or tonsillitis, loosening chest congestion, and they help immune deficiency by strengthening weakened cells during an infection. So how awesomely powerful is that little fruit? And again, that's just the highlights. I probably spent six to eight hours reading about lemons. Okay, who else does that? But this is like super fruit awesomeness. I think my nickname should now be the lemon lady or the chicken lady with lemons. I don't know, but lemons are the bomb. Probably my new favorite fruit. They're incredible. All right, I'll be done. Your turn, Rose. <laughs> they are very incredible. And um, I actually just made a drink. So some of you may know I follow... Uh, a healthy eating lifestyle called Trim Healthy Mama. And they have a drink that they call the Singing Canary that highlights the humble lemon. Um, and this drink is really toted to support your immune system. It contains lemon, uh, turmeric, um, or turmeric. I don't know how you say that. I think both it's turmeric, but I've heard it both ways. <laughs> um, both, which are amazing for your immune system and lemon oil, which helps to boost those immune system benefits. It tastes like a creamy lemonade. If any of you are interested, let me know in the comments and I'll post the recipe for you. It's super easy to make. It looks a little daunting at first because there's a little bit of blending and pulping, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. And I like to boost the properties even more by putting a couple drops of lavender in it because then it tastes like a creamy lavender lemonade and it's so good. Um, so for those of you who are interested in the recipe, let me know. I will post it um, one of these days coming up. I just made two quarts of it this weekend and I've been sipping on it like crazy. It tastes so good. <clears throat> so. Tessa is the researcher of the two of us, and she's done a great job. I should have gone first so that I don't have to follow up behind her amazing information. I um, am talking about clove oil, but much like Tessa, I want to talk to you a little bit about clove in itself, the spice and the herb. So, Clove is from the, I don't know how to say this, Myrtacea family. Um, basically, that means shrubs and trees. And the way they distill the oil is through steam distillation, which comes from the bud and the stem. So properties of clove. A lot of you, whenever um, anyone talks about clove, they tell me about the time they went to the dentist and had their teeth pulled and the doctor put, or the dentist put a piece of clove into their gums to prevent infection. So that tells you a little bit about the power of clove um, and using it in um, the Western medicine. Um, I love that they're using something natural that way. So properties of clove, analgesic, antibacterial. Again, I'm talking about clove itself antibacterial, antifungal, anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-parasitic, strong antiseptic, I love this one, anti-tumoral, antiviral, disinfectant, and immune stimulant. Who couldn't use some of that in their life these days? Um, so some uses for clove in itself, clove, it's been used um, for blood clots, for candida, for cavities, for corns, for fever. There have been some studies 
Um, you'll have to research them yourself, but about the use of clove um, in treating herpes simplex that are pretty amazing. Um, insect repellent, bonus. Lupus, muscle aches, pain, tooth abscess. We just talked about people's experience with the dentist. Tumors and wounds. When I was doing my research on clove, I've got my notes here. Um, I found an interesting um, story, some folklore on clove. So I'm just going to read this right from my oil reference app here. Some old tales say that walking near a clove tree while wearing a hat would frighten the trees into no longer bearing fruit. So weird for people to think that, right? Um, while the trees may not have been afraid of hats, they were not afraid of viruses. <laughs> History has it that the people of the Penang, which is among the Spice Islands, the people of the Penang were free from epidemics until the 16th century when Dutch conquerors destroyed the clove trees that flourished on the islands. And after that, many of the islanders died from the epidemics that followed. Wow. Very interesting. So some historical uses for cloves. Cloves were historically used for skin infections, digestive upsets, and we are um, talking about historically, or in our last sessions, we talked about how important a good digestive system is for your immune system. Um, they were historically used for skin infections, digestive upsets, intestinal parasites, childbirth, and most notably for toothaches. The Chinese have used clothes for diarrhea, hernias, bad breath, and bronchitis. Um, French medicinal uses for cloves, impotence, intestinal parasites, memory deficiency, pain, plague, that's a big one. And remember, clove is one of the oils in Thieves, and last week we heard Tessa talk about um, the thieves that were um, robbing the Black Plague dead bodies of their riches. Um, so plague, toothaches, and infected wounds. Cloves may also be used to help with arthritis, colitis, blood clots. Um, there's all sorts of things here I'm not supposed to say. Um, so cloves can be used for sinusitis, for skin cancer, for chronic skin disease. This one I love. It says it can help remove the desire to smoke. So we learned about that with your lemon oil. That would be interesting. Um, of course, um, cloves are helped for sores, especially in the mouth and for warts. That's interesting. Um, now let's talk a little bit about diffusing clove oil. It may influence healing. It may improve memory. It can act as a mental stimulant. And diffusing clove can um, create a feeling of protection and courage. So I think that's why it smells so great when you diffuse it in your house. Um, Oh, clove can also help support sound sleep, which generally culminates in stimulating dreams. So clove may help uh, stimulate some dreams. Interesting. That may explain a few things. Oh. <laughs> when I diffuse thieves, I get really weird dreams that I just always think it's because oh. I went to the weather. Well, okay. not even yeah. more. Cool. Oh. <laughs> um, some things that clove blends really well with Basil, bergamot, cinnamon bark, of course, clary sage. That one was a new one. I didn't know. I think that would taste, smell very floral and kind of warm. Grapefruit, lavender, lemon, hey, nutmeg, orange, peppermint, rose, rosemary, and ylang ylang. Um, for those of you who have never smelled clove, um, it smells kind of spicy and warm. Um, it's a little bit woody, a tiny bit bitter. Um, it's got um, a rich kind of warm 
scent to it. So those are all the wonderful properties about cloves. And that's why I like to use clove oil so that I can um, get some of those benefits of my immune uh, system boost that I'm looking for. And remember my prize is an air freshener with clove on it. And that's gonna smell so, so, so good. <clears throat> That's all I have. I need some clove air fresheners now. Yeah. The ones I have are going to be, uh, I think they're going to be pretty good. They'll be perfect. I think clove, I was smelling it as we were talking and I'm like, oh, that would smell good in my car too. You know, like, oh, yeah. but smells very warm and homey. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking I need to diffuse clove more because it smells to me like a country home. Clove just makes me hungry, though, because clove is in, like, pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. I smell it a lot during Christmas time and Thanksgiving, like pumpkin pies. Well, you'll be okay. Just put lemon in your water. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> about lemon and a fatty diet. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so, um, I'm watching the feed. I don't see any questions here. Um, like I said, Janelle and Anne are not able to make it tonight. So you just have me and Tessa. Tessa, do you have any questions coming in at all? I was just checking. I don't see any questions. Do you but have it is on my page because I got a comment and a like. So the tech test did work. Oh, good. Um, do you have anyone watching live quick that you want me to add to our prize wheel? Um, I have Emily watching live. I don't. Uh, oh, he has. Debbie is our iPad watcher here on Zoom. I have, oh, oh, now it's talking to me. Hang on. Oh, this is new. Sorry, everyone. I can see that five people are watching live, but I think that's five off of yours because I'm sharing your video. Uh, got it. Okay. Because when I clicked the five next to the eyeball, like I can see Sherry and I can see um Mackenzie and Sue so I think that's your people I'm seeing oh I see a question from Mackenzie she asked what does it taste like I think you're asking about my singing canary uh recipe uh Mackenzie as I'm looking at where these comments were coming in the singing canary is the recipe that um Sherry asked me to post um and uh, that tastes like a creamy lemonade is the it's tart you can add I like it with only a little bit of sweetener I like it kind of tart um, but I would say it tastes like a creamy lemonade is the best way for me to describe it Tess I know you've had it before too I think it just kind of tastes like a lemonade yeah I think that's a pretty good description yeah and then I like to add lavender to it um, to Mackenzie because lavender lemonade is delicious. So um, it tastes really great that way. The next time I try it, I'm being adventurous and adding some lime essential oil because I like lemon lime. Oh, so that would be good too. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. Good call. Okay, so we've captured all of our live viewers. Um, Sherry had to go. I see her in the comment here. Um, but I put her on the wheel. So let me share my screen again, if I can figure this out. Share screen. All right, can we see it? The wheel? Yep, I see it. Awesome. All right, so this is for our live attendee prize. Yay, Emily. Yay, Emily. Congrats. She won last week, too. She's lucky. I knew. All right, Emily. Well, to um, be fair, she tunes in every week, so. <laughs> good, good. Uh, Tessa, do you have Emily's address? I do. Yes, okay. I do. So, um, Emily, Tessa will get me your address. I just checked on the status of my um, stuff that I needed to make the air fresheners, and they will be here Thursday. Um, I also have a few prizes to get to a few of you from last week 
I'm having a hard time figuring out how to mail the roller ball um, for a couple people. So stay tuned for that. I'll be reaching out to you and Sue and Carol. I'm going to drop yours off uh, in town. So they're coming, I promise. Um, all right. I think we can wrap it up, huh? I think so. All right. Yeah, well, the post office wouldn't let me mail glass or liquids. I had to like. I'm having a challenge, yes. Yeah. I had to ship it like in a UPS box. So that's yeah. why I changed some of my prizes to be not liquid and glass. <laughs> yes. So um, I'm going to reach out to a couple of my long distance prize winners. And I think I might swap them out for air fresheners instead. Uh, because it's been a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to mail those roller balls. Um, anyway, so make sure you guys join us here next week and uh tell us what you want to learn about we want to serve you so um tell us what you want to know and we'll bring you some great info next week <clears throat> so we will see you here same time same place next week perfect sounds awesome. good thanks rose have a great night see you tessa